Hello YouTube, this is Griffin8280 coming at you from the Chicken Waffle server. We are uh, a pretty close community, as you can see, there's only a few guys of us, and we, we play this game pretty often and love it. This video is in response to B00's recent M Feed the B-Team video, where he is talking at one point about how quarries are raping his world clean. So that is uh, that is a problem that we were having too. There's one guy that loves building quarries, so we, uh, we decided to build Miscraft Worlds to handle that. And as you can see, this is a Miscraft world. It's a flat with glowstone generation. And I just looked at a freaking Enderman. Uh, let's do battle. Where's he at? I uh, big wimp. Yeah, whatever. All right. So, anyways, this quarry. Uh, this is the first quarry I had right here. And then uh, once once the concept was proven that it was going to work well, my storage system and all that kind of stuff, I uh, went ahead and expanded. Well, this is a 64 by 64 quarry right here. Got some mobs down in there, but they will die soon enough. And uh, yeah, it's, it uh, works pretty well. It's pretty awesome. Comes in here. It's all powered by eight advanced solar panel arrays, as you can see here. And uh, let's go downstairs and take a look. Alrighty. So the whole thing is, uh, again, like I said, it's powered by eight advanced solar arrays. They all feed into this MFE, which is pretty much going to start draining here soon. Once it drains out all the power stored in the solar cells, or solar panels, because it is nighttime, so it's only generating one EU per tick. And during the day, it generates eight EUs per tick. And uh, that is actually enough to completely fill this guy, and then fill all the storage of these guys while uh, everything is still running. And then at nighttime, it will drain all the way down until the MFE is somewhere around like two, three hundred thousand power before uh, daylight hits again outside and, and it all starts coming back. Uh, quarry itself is actually run on five of these electric engines. Uh, spider. Um, I just found out from an Etho video earlier today that you can actually upgrade these electric engines, put a uh, circuit card in this empty socket, and that uh, will increase our output or something like that. I'm going to play with that a little bit probably tonight, see if I can't make this more efficient. But uh, yeah, five of those guys pump into the quarry, so it pretty much runs at uh, full power and full speed the whole time, which is pretty awesome. And everything it gets comes in through here. Gets sorted into these barrels. These first two to four barrels are things that I want to keep, basically. Oh, uh, there you are. I'll do battle with you. Aha! Alright, so anyways, this is the stuff that I want to keep. Um, my house is basically all red cobble, so I, I kind of go through it all pretty fast and a lot. That's one of the reasons why he built this world as a red cobble checkerboard, so we'll have plenty of that to quarry as well. And then uh, right now I don't need scrap anymore, so I actually have this going into a void pipe, which just destroys the, uh, the block items. It doesn't actually feed into the hopper here or into the recycler. Now what you see going into the recycler is stuff coming through here that is no longer needed. Um, <coughs> this is the diamond pipe sorter that's sorting out all the extra trash that I don't need. Uh, anything that's not trash, however, as you can see, runs over and drops down into this ender chest, where it promptly disappears. The reason why is because we're using the ender mod here. Um, it's actually all feed the beast packs are, and you can color code these ender chests. So I have this one is set to orange, gray, and white, and then this one right here is orange, red, and white. Um, and these each go to my storage systems in my house, which I'm actually getting ready to come and show you right now. There we go. We're now in my house. This is, uh, well, this is my main storage solution, which I wanted to show B00. It's uh, pretty handy. I mean, it takes a lot of barrels to make, but uh, but it's pretty nice once you get it done. Um, the uh, diamond pipes might be an issue for you guys, because you're kind of short on diamonds, I notice. Um, until somebody at least finds a miscraft world with dense ores, and then everybody will be stinking diamond rich. But uh, the nice thing about this is all I have to do is just throw my excess items into this chest right here, and as long as it has a barrel as it's going down this tube, the diamond pipe will grab it and throw it in whatever barrel it belongs into. And then this guy is the overflow chest, so anything that doesn't get sorted or if a diamond pipe misses or something like that, it comes in here, and then all I have to do is just clear this out, like so, and throw it in where it belongs. Now, I can actually show you this because I do have a, ch a barrel for spider eyes, so let's throw that guy in there and watch it get sucked out. And as soon as it hits that gold pipe, it's going to go flying. Spider eyes are right here, so it's going to hit the corner, and bam. And finds its way into the spider eye barrel. 
So it's a pretty simple system. It's uh, pretty easy to make, pretty nice overall. And I didn't do that, but all right. Okay, now the two ender chests. This is my machine room. Welcome. Anyways, uh, the two chests that I was talking about, as you can see, I'm completely full up on scrap. I have eight barrels, all with 64 stacks of 64 scrap that I need to start feeding to my mass fabricator up here. So I can start whipping out more UU matter, and that's all automated as well. I'll just hit that switch right there, turns the fabricator on, hit that switch right there, and that barrel just starts pumping uh, scrap into it. So that's pretty handy. Um, these old water mills were the first power system that I had on this uh, on this world whenever I first got started. This is what I used to run all my low tech machines with. Didn't get rid of it just for the nostalgia value. I imagine uh, Generic B could probably understand that. Uh, all of my power is stored in MFSUs. As you can see, I have a nuke power plant and a, another solar, a huge solar array that, uh, that power my entire operation here. And uh, that is actually run into a grand total of, I want to say, 8 MFSUs. So I have a total of 80 million power power at any given time to uh, kind of throw around and play with. So that's always fun. This right here is the auto smelting system, which B00 and Generic B ought to recognize. Except for, in my case, I actually used two of these uh, redstone engines, which I actually found a way to make this a little more efficient. If I put that block on top of this guy and put a switch to it, I only have to have one switch to power both redstone engines. So I'll probably get that done tonight. But anyways, here is the other ender chest from the quarry, and as you can see, it's already piping in some, some copper. Um, these barrels are for the ores that you get a ton of. So I got two of the different kind of coppers that generate, two of the different kind of tins, and then these two are for silver. And then everything else goes into this crystal chest right here, which just gets sorted by hand by me, which is easy enough to do. Um, as I know, as you show, yeah. I'll get it out eventually. As you saw earlier, this is the uh, auto smelting system. And then once it goes through that and is done, this is my ore storage. And uh, as you can see, I'm getting pretty close to uh, being filled up on that barrel, so I went ahead and just as a preemptive strike put in barrels underneath all of these guys. So eventually, whenever I get 64 stacks of 64 and all these from quarrying, I will uh, <coughs> I will just fill these barrels on the bottom. I already had to do that with coal, as you can see up here. So that is pretty much it. I mean, if you guys like this, or if I rambled too much, let me know. Uh, like, comment, whatever, and uh, I'll create more videos and show you some more of the cool crap that I've built uh, on this server. So other than that, you guys have a good night, and hopefully uh, B00 gets some good ideas from it. Bye.